Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe and welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. See what message comes through today. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. These readings are timeless. There's this, and there's a divine feminine here who has this inner knowing. You have an idea about divine masculine approaching, coming, returning. Some kind of information may have been shared with you, or something that you learned about recently that has to do with divine masculine returning, coming in with with an offer. I see here an offer commitment, moving into a direction towards Divine Feminine here. You're, you're thinking about something about the past, connecting, it's like connecting, connecting the pieces, bringing the pieces together, understanding what Divine Masculine is up to or has been up to. And you're recalling things from the past. They see here that something that was said to Divine Feminine in the past that has to do with your connection, the feelings, the attachment that Divine Masculine had when they were with you. I see that there is something about the way that they used to express their love to you, the way that they used to talk about your future, plans for the future, wishes, dreams. These conversations are, I see here, this Divine Feminine is thinking about these conversations that took place in the past and connecting it to what they are hearing now or what information you have obtained recently about Divine Masculine. This Divine Masculine is moving towards Divine Feminine. I see here to restore connection. You may have heard this from family members, friends. You may have heard something about Divine Masculine coming, coming to your area or has moved or has relocated or has visited recently. I see here family members as well. This information that will be shared with Divine Feminine, it will make, I see emotions for their family members who are going to be very emotional about it because there are some family members who want to see you two come together. There's some family members who really these family members are very close to both divine feminine and divine masculine. They could be masculine side of the family. It's like this news that was shared to these family members about divine masculine moving towards divine feminine is making them very emotional. These could be siblings, aunts, uncles. But what I see here they are encouraging this Divine Masculine to take the next step. They are encouraging this Divine Masculine to, if you return to Divine Feminine, you have to have a plan. It's like you need to come come with... I've, I feel something about... This... There's something about this Divine Masculine. When Divine Masculine returns, you need to give something more than what you've been giving in the past. Commitment. Stability. Clear communication. Express your feelings. Express your love to Divine Feminine here. These family members are encouraging Divine Masculine to not only return to Divine Feminine, but 
It's like you need to be well prepared. Don't come empty handed. Have a plan. I see here plan, plan something that will be memorable, that will be meaningful. And I don't think it's to impress, but it's it's to show that Divine Masculine has has taken the time and put in the energy and effort into bringing, bringing about this reunion. It's the thought. So it's like your words, just saying what you feel is not good enough. You need to have a plan. You need to really show Divine Feminine who they are to you, what they mean to you how you feel for them, what do you want in the connection, what are you giving to the relationship, to the connection. So I see here that the families are encouraging this Divine Masculine to come well prepared with a beautiful offer for Divine Feminine here. This Divine Feminine may have seen something, so going back to the beginning of the reading it's like you may have seen something heard something know about something that is making you think about the past that where you're starting to connect it's like the pieces are coming together you have this idea that this divine masculine may be returning you have this inner knowing and i see here that it's kind of tough for you to something about it's kind of tough for you to it's like tough to believe like you sense it, you feel it, you you see things, but it's tough for you to believe. And I think it has to do with because of the amount of time it has taken and the things that have happened during your separation. I see here that there's there is this guidance from the divine to show divine feminine clarity about the connection between you two. So it's like clarity about what's currently happening in the situation. Because some of these Divine Feminists may have no communication with Divine Masculine. It may have been years since you two have spoken to each other. You may have mutual friends. You may have family members that know each other. But I feel like you don't really know what's happening with Divine Masculine. Because maybe it's not being shared with you. Like others may not be sharing information with you. But you still have this knowing. You're still able to see certain things. And this is something that is actually being given by the divine. for To give you kind of like signs, synchronicities, clues. This is something that, that you are starting to see with more clarity. something about the start of this it's not going to be as smooth as divine masculine hopes it will be i see that there's something about bitterness in the heart that there's something that will be there still there feels a little bit like a small like a little bit of a grudge bitterness about something This is this is something that has been with. I feel this is something It's showing something about divine masculine when they step into this new cycle where they want to move towards love, wish fulfillment, 
they want to speak their truth, but there's still some kind of bitterness there, a grudge, a heaviness that they carry with them. I don't think the I don't think this grudge is about your relationship. It's more of like how it played out and others who may have been involved when it comes to the separation between you two. So when this divine masculine returns to divine feminine's life or city, wherever they are coming from, when they come closer to divine feminine with that intention of restoring the connection, there is a bit of a grudge there, but I feel like it is towards somebody who may have been involved in some sort of way when it comes to your separation. Because I see here that they want to they want to restore the connection, but they feel this heaviness in them. It's like they can't let something go. Something may have been said to Divine Masculine at the time. In some cases, I feel it was for their good, like for their own good. Like something was spoken in truth. I see truth. And the truth may have affected this Divine Masculine some sort of way. Like whoever may have shared certain things with this divine mask in the past during your separation or that led to the separation may may have said something that really I feel like stung or or hurt divine masculine's feelings in some sort of way. Because it was a truth, but it was a bitter truth. It was something that Divine Masculine was not ready to hear at the time. I'll give an example. So say when Divine Mask and Divine Feminine, when you two separated or when there was this separation that was taking place, there may have been somebody who was connected to whether it's you or Masculine. They may have said something to Divine Masculine like, you don't deserve Divine Feminine because this, this, and this. Or we knew that it would come to this because you are this, this, and this. Like something about divine masculine which may have been true at the time so like say if they said something like you're not you're not trustworthy or you lied or you you betrayed or if it was something that was very truthful that was that didn't sound good right because we have to keep in mind that when these two came into separation this masculine was at a lower vibration at the time. And there were mistakes here that were made by Divine Masculine. But at the time, this Divine Masculine didn't see it in that way. And I see that some things were pointed out where Divine Masculine felt weak or felt like they... They knew that there was something that they did which was not right or the thing that they may have said was not correct. And when they were called out on it, it hurt them in some sort of way. This is what formed that grudge. This is what formed that heaviness because it was a bitter truth. And I see here that bitter truth is still there. That feeling is still there. And now when this Divine Masculine is returning for that restoring of the connection, it's like they have to face that bitter truth that, yes, maybe it's time for me to accept that that's who I was or that's what I did. You know, taking accountability, taking responsibility for their actions or for their words or whatever had taken place in the past. So they need to face that first. That needs to be released because I see here that that's, that's still in their heart. And you can't start a new connection having, like, restoring the connection with divine feminine having reunion with the open heart when you still have this grudge this bitterness towards somebody when they were speaking truth at the time whatever the truth may be you may know because i feel like at that time whatever was said or done it may have been shared to divine feminine by the family member or even divine masculine may have said it out of 
maybe like frustration or something like that may have shared that information as well to divine feminine at the time but i see here that something was said in the past that still remains there because now when they're returning they're recalling that thing they need to let that go first so this is the reading for today i hope you like this reading if you like this reading please subscribe to my channel leave a comment below and thank you all for watching have a beautiful day everyone bye